You never know what you're gonna find on the creek. I found a golden ticket. We just found, well, I didn't find it. This young man here found it, but found a revolver on the creek. Kind of cool. All right, same spot, exact same spot as I was um, when I found the point um, a couple weeks ago. Sticks down. I don't know if I should be looking at my areas better when I'm hunting them or what. I just popped out something. I'm not sure what it is and I don't know. What, oh, I'm not sure what it was. It may be a broken, it may be a tool. I just flipped it out and you can tell it's worked. Um, let's go check that out together. Well, looks like a tip. Tip, and maybe that was a base. Let's go wash it off. Big tip of something. Hopefully I'll be back. God bless. Broken. Little square knife. Why people? Why? Just picked up this flight knife. I just walked up on that. Pick that up and see what that is. It looks really cool. Maybe nothing. Well, it's not what I thought it was. It's a shield of some kind. Let's get my camera out. And pick that back up. <clears throat> And then eat. It's the things you find on the creek. You may miss it on a high hill. What is that? A good three inch high hill? So I'm going to give you a little uh, instruction here. Like I said many times in my videos, I'm fairly new to this, been only doing it for three years. I'm basically a creek hunter. Um, so, the current is coming this way. That's um, upstream, this is downstream. And so when you're hunting a gravel bar, this is how you would like, to, I mean, do it. You just um, slowly walk it. You're looking for anything that's different, but what you'll do is pay closer attention to areas such as this, where there's a bigger rock or bigger boulder and the uh, stuff collects. And a lot of times I'll find, I found several nice arrow point, arrowheads or points just laying up against a, a big rock like this because the current is taking it this way. And so these are natural stoppers, kind of like a, um, when you're, um, Kind of like when you some other cool things you find on the creek. This is an old bridge basing, I would think, a crossing. You see the other side where it went across. No telling how old that is. Maybe a hundred to two hundred years old. I don't know how long this area really has been inhabited by modern man. That's cool. There's several of those within a mile of this uh, area that I hunt. Kind of neat things you see.
Nice, beautiful, peaceful day here in Middle Tennessee. Just a few short weeks I'll be moving more north. And even though I can still come and hunt this creek, it's a little further distance and hopefully I'll find a creek or two closer to where we'll be living at to explore and to find Native American and more modern man made finds. Good. I'm blessed to be able to spend a Saturday morning on a peaceful creek like this. Just looking and exploring. I hope you all who watch this get an opportunity to do that on occasion to be able to get out and just enjoy God's creation and to be able to look for, for stuff that hasn't been seen for thousands of years. So you never know what you're gonna find on the creek. I just found the winning ticket to the dopest lottery online. Never know what you're gonna find on the creek. I found the golden ticket. Knock, knock. Who's there? Another cool honor and find. A door knock. Doing when they're doing gold and um, they use the little ripples to catch the golden. Um, same thing, I th think. Um, he works here with the points. They'll they'll collect in these areas here because they're a little lighter um, than um, the gravel itself. And so I mean, here you see kind of bone. That's a let me check that out. This that a, I was thinking that was a. Uh, deer when I first seen it, but that's actually a predator. Maybe a dog or a coyote. It's got the old canine on it. That's kind of cool. I might keep that. And then also I noticed while I was showing you that it's a piece of coral there. Yeah, so when you're hunting a gravel bar, look um, at the, at the uh, larger rocks on the side that the water would flow at. And just look for something different that sticks out in your eye. Usually flint or something worked will have a, a gleam to it or something that will draw your eye. So hopefully something will dry my, draw my eye to it and I will find something today. Also when walking the creek, it's not just uh, above waters exposed gravel bars, but you want to check these as well. Um, it takes a little bit more work to spot something underwater but just this past year i found several several good points underwater and so you want to check these out too wish the sun was out a little bit it would make it a little easier at least the wind is down but yeah you want to check these areas too for points because they'll be in there too. All right, the stick's down. We may have something. If not, this is going to be an educational um, video anyways. I think I got something. If not, we'll find out and we'll explore why it's not an artifact or why it is. So let's go ahead. To me, that looks good. But let's go ahead and pick that up and see what we have. Yeah, we definitely, we definitely have an artifact here. So what you want to do is look at it. Is it the right material? Yes, that's the right material. Um, a lot of times when I pick up something, I'll see if it breaks or not. And if it doesn't break, then I explore it more. And as you look at this, you can see that it's been worked. You notice it's not a 
point like you would think an arrowhead would be, but this isn't an arrowhead. This is more of a knife blade. And it looks like it's mostly all there, except for maybe a little nick right there. It's a little rough, but we have found us a, basically a complete artifact. A little crude, like I said. There you go. So I just picked this up from right there, not knowing it was something. But I think it's something. Let's go wash it off. I'm a little bit away from water right now. I'm going to stop it and start it back when I get to the creek. Mm -hmm. You can see it's kind of like a, a dry creek bed that runs to the main creek bed. And then over that way is where I found that point just a few minutes ago. So let's wash this off. And I don't want to get in this yucky water here. But you gotta look. You gotta look everywhere. This looks like it may be a true triangle. So let's wash this off and see what we have. Could be a preform. I found a couple of those over here, and that's what that might be. Preform. But that's two complete artifacts today. Four other hunts, and I found a little bit, but I'll make a giant video with the last five hunts on it, and I'll have a picture of this cleaned up. I'm about done for the day, and I think I've got another piece here it's broken of course but it looks like a nice tip that's exactly what it is big old tip I'd like to head the rest of that one, as everybody who finds something like that says. <laughs>